today's Lee Live. Today is Wednesday, January 27th. Now, here are some three tips for you during this global pandemic. One, make sure you're using one to two pumps of soap when you're washing your hands. And make sure you sing the whole entire ABCD song when you're washing your hands. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, or the happy birthday song. Happy birthday to you. All right, you finish the song now. Right, second tip, is your mask too tight for you? Hopefully not, but it happens sometimes. And that's okay. All you have to do is take your mask, twist it to the size you think it should be, put it on your ears, just like that, twist it on the same thing on this side, and then make sure your metal bar is bent when you put it on to the shape of your nose, like right here, pinch down on it. Now you got it. Okay, now for the third one, we'll be doing an experiment to help you learn why is washing your hands so important. You'll be needing a plate, some water. You'll need a half a teaspoon of pepper and salt and go ahead and mix it up. Lastly, some dish soap and a paper towel if needed. Okay, so now you can go ahead and pour your water onto your plate. Make sure you don't put too much and it doesn't overflow. I think that's about right for me. Next, go ahead and take your pepper and salt mixture. And go ahead and place it on your plate and give it a little mix. That should be good. All right. Okay, so our pepper and salt are going to act as our germs that are all over our hands, okay? Let's go ahead and dip our hand into the salt and pepper water. Oh, look what happened. All the germs or pepper and salt are sticking to my hand. Now, go ahead and... Dip your finger in some dish soap, it can be any kind, and put your hand in the middle. Do you see that? Now that we technically washed our hands, all the germs just went away from us. Now do you see why it's so important to wash our hands? Whenever we dipped our finger into the dish soap, all those germs spread apart so far from your finger that you didn't have any germs on your fingers anymore. So that's why it's so important to wash your hands. I hope you guys learned something today. Now on to the next segment. Good morning, Lee Spurs. I hope you're having a great Wednesday so far. Today's weather is a high of 52 degrees with a low of 30 degrees with a 5% chance of rain. So if you feel like it, why don't you try and go outside to get some nice fresh air, but make sure to wear a jacket. Adios. Lee Spurs, today's special rotation is day three. Now on to the next segment. Good morning, Lee Spurs, and I hope you've had a wonderful Wednesday so far. Today, I'm here to tell you the amazing lunch our lunch ladies have put together for us for today and tomorrow. Today's lunch is, you guessed it, pizza day. We have cheese pizza, pepperoni pizza, yogurt meal with oatmeal round, corn, fresh green salad, cherry blue raspberry frozen juice, and like always, assorted fruit and assorted milk. Mmm, that sounds delicious. Let's take a look at tomorrow's lunch. Tomorrow's lunch is nachos with chili and cheese, nachos with cheese sauce, power protein box, yogurt meal with oatmeal round, refried beans, cucumber coins, mandarin oranges, and like always, assorted fruit and assorted milk. Well, that sure sounds amazing. Well, that's all I have for the lunch segment. I'll see you next time. Now on to the next segment. Please stand for the pledge to the American flag. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay standing for the Texas Pledge. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to thee, Texas, one state under God, 
one and indivisible. Please join us in a moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Good morning, Leesburgers. Happy Wednesday. Mrs. Howard here. I wanted to go over what our announcements are for today. So today is day three. It's pajama day where we are dreaming of kindness. I'm so excited to be wearing my pajamas today. Tomorrow for our kindness week is hats off to kindness. So make sure you wear your favorite hat to school. And if you're at home as a virtual learner, make sure you wear your favorite hat and tweet a picture um, to us. And then Friday is dress as a hundred years old. Remember that kindness never gets old. And if we're dressing as a hundred years old, that also tells me that Friday is the 100th day of school. So I can't wait to see all the fun things that are happening on Friday for the 100th day of school. Just a reminder to our designers that um, don't forget to turn in your digital super spurs. We also have a staff meeting this afternoon for our designers. It is important for all designers and paraprofessionals to be on the staff meeting this afternoon. And another quick reminder that our some of our kinder teachers and first grade teachers are in trainings today, tomorrow and Thursday. So just be aware that some of your Zooms may be a little bit different, um, but they are in a great training for reading and we're so excited for all the fun things that they're learning. That is all I have today for you guys. See you out and about, have a great day. Good morning, Leesburgs. Today I'll be telling you the birthdays. So uh, for Jan 27th, we have Corey and R4B. For Jan 28th, we have Jane L Lynn and B3B, Vivon and RK, Ahana and YK, and Ashita and B5. I'm so sorry I pronounced your name, if I pronounced your name incorrectly. And off to the next segment we go. Hello, Lee Spurs. Welcome back to the Leadership Tip and Quote of the Week segment. This week's word is loyalty. Loyalty means faithfulness to one another. The quote is, I will speak ill of no man and speak all the good I know of everybody by Benjamin Franklin. The tip is, if you hear something negative about one of your friends, don't repeat it. If necessary, let a designer know what was said. That's it for me. Now, on to the next segment. Hi Spurs, it's Miss Wade here, and I have some super exciting news to share with you today. Our online book fair will begin Monday, February 1st, and run all the way through February 14th. So how this will work is you'll use the link below, scholastic.com forward slash BF forward slash Richard J. Lee Elementary 2 to access our book fair catalog. And from this website, you can purchase whatever you would like. And the really cool thing about this online book fair is that anything you buy will be shipped directly to your home. And if you spend $25 or more, your order ships for free. And always remember, whenever you guys shop our book fairs, it directly benefits our library and our school. So I thank you so much in advance for your participation. I'll be sharing updates and some of my favorite picks from the catalog in our Schoology course over the next couple of weeks. So be sure to check there for more information. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about our book fair and that you have a great day. Oh, I must be just dog for a few seconds. Anyway, welcome back to the Kindness Week segment, Lee Spurs. Also, I hope you don't sleep like I just did. Or doze off just because you're in your pajamas. Anyway, I hope you had a great time so far in this week doing your fun activities. I hope you also had a great virtual background if you're at home 
for the kindness parade or you guys at face to face at school made a fun poster speaking of fun activities let's see what this week's continuous of fun activities are for thursday and friday so let's get on with it Today, we're going to wear hats, all hats to show that we're going to give hats off to kindness. I hope you guys are going to wear your favorite hats to show off hats off for kindness. I'm sure I'm going to. And for the Grand Friday, we're going to dress up as we were 100 years old because kindness will never get old. Also, 100th day of school. Well, I hope you guys had a fun time doing the fun activities with us. Well, that's all for me signing off. Thanks for tuning in. Have fun doing your schoolwork. Peace.